Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who's in our sixth year of homeschooling. We have a fifth grader and a first grader, and today I thought it'd be really fun to film like a get ready with me because um, I do get a lot of questions. So I thought that would be fun to do while I am just chatting at you my feelings for middle schools. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Before we get started, you are in my bathroom. That is why it is very echoey. Um, this is my face with nothing on it. As you, I've got, you know, blemishes and just uneven spots and eyeballs, and these are my eyebrows. However, I have darkened them. These are my eyebrows, but I have darkened them with like permanent hair color to um, just kind of always be a little bit there because they are very light and almost never there. It is very important that I um, do like brows, lashes, because if I don't, I look like this. I am white and pale and washed out. And so therefore I do, I do put on makeup. If you are wondering what I have done so far, I've had most of my coffee brushed my teeth. I like to wash my face when I get up with either this like Biore charcoal like stuff or um, Noxzema because it's very like, I don't know, like cooling and just makes me feel very awake with a very like cold rinse. And then I sometimes will do like a face treatment if I'm not doing a full face of makeup because I feel like if I do like um, some retinol or anything in the morning, it kind of like pills when I put on makeup and I don't love that. And then I like this moisturizer, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, because I always tend to feel dry. I'm not dry, but I feel dry and I like to have uh, very moisturized skin. I, let's see, I do break out kind of all the time. I have forever and I will forever. And I have given up the thought that I will one day grow out of that because I'm about to be 39. So it just, well, just ills, what is just ills, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take you through what I do. And I have my flat iron here because we're gonna do hair too, because if you can't tell, it is up in crazy town. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to stay focused. I can do this, right? This is in real time. I'm gonna try to not do any cuts or anything, but um, yeah, I don't know. We have somebody who's supposed to show up soon, so I might have to do that. Also, I have children, and you guys, you guys know what that's like. Okay, so I'm gonna run through just kind of like my normal, I'm not gonna do anything fancy just my normal thing I normally do, okay? And what I normally do is um, prep. It's It Cosmetics. I like a kind of a prep spray. I like to, I don't feel like it works very well for like a like a uh, setting spray. I'm pretty picky, y'all, I'm pretty picky. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna have to clean the bathroom after this because I'm knocking everything over. I like this uh, skin brightening, roll on. It's got like caffeine in it. I like to use this as my um, eye primer. I just feel like it gives me just enough like kind of tonal evening to be good. I do have my ring light set up in here, which I don't normally have. I'm like running low on this. Um, but my bathroom is very yellow. I don't like to film in here because it's like old and it hasn't been redone and I didn't love it. We did finally get a plan, um, but we're not there yet. So I really don't like, it. it's just big and cavernous and the sound is bad and I don't, I don't like it. But here we are, here we are. You were wondering, like almost nine, I was trying to wait on my youngest to get up before I started this. Um, but it's almost nine and sh girls are about to eat breakfast and watch their news for the day. But anyways, okay, so let's start chatting about middle school. So I have a child that will be going into um, one even neutral tone all over the eyelid as like a prep. Uh, a child that is going into middle school and middle school can be, you know, is different in different places. Sometimes it's fifth grade through eighth. Sometimes there's like a separate ninth grade campus, but for me in my brain, middle school for me is six, seven, eight. Um, so that is what I have. I have a child who will be in sixth grade. And this is kind of really jarring for many reasons, not the least of which is that well, we've done this for half 
of her schooling career, like her base education. We've done this for half of it, which is very crazy, very crazy. Um, the darker shade I like to take just up into my crease a little bit, just to give it a little pop in my eyeball. Um, but this is crazy because it means we have homeschooled that far and I'm not trying to be too like self-promoting, but I feel like we've done a pretty decent job, which is really crazy. It's really crazy to think that this is like real and serious and we've done it this long and it just, it really is baffling. I like this little teeny tiny angled brush to take my same dark shade and just go right under the low lashes just for a little bit of color. And the next thing that I will do is take a kind of a medium neutral color, bigger brush and just all over, all over the place. Um, it is, it is just, it is really crazy to think that we have a child that one, we have taken that far and two, that we intend to continue taking farther, which is crazy to me, but you know, there's that big pressure of getting them started and getting them on the right foot and teaching them to read and getting the basic math facts and things like that. But now we've moved into this new pressure of like genuinely getting them prepped and ready for the world, which is crazy. It's absolutely crazy to me that we have done this that long and like we're still doing it, which is bananas. All right, I like a little eyebrow glue because I colored them so I don't have to necessarily fill them in all the time. Sometimes I still will because they're just so stinking light. And then when I film the added like ring light makes them disappear more. So sometimes I we will still kind of fill them in. I like to go against the grain to get it in really well and then straight up. And then just kind of take the edges over as it's kind of drying down. So like that. I just, I don't know. It's scary to think that like now we really need to be thinking kind of longer term, which I do have a video coming up talking through my plan for that. But just thinking that, you know, this is it. This is, you know, Elementary is really the foundation, but now we're in the place where it's like, we are really prepping her for high school, which really preps her for college, which means we are really, we're in this. This is real, okay? This is real time now. This is no joke. Okay, I like to do that to give it kind of a little bit of a chance to dry. And then something else I like to do, this little kind of fluffy angly brush here. And then this little, this is what I use for brow color, but this one here. Um, and I like to take it and just, just dot, dot, and then right into that brow line, right into the corner and just one couple dots right in the center. I feel like it really pops your eye. I don't think you can necessarily see a difference, but I like to do it this way because I do feel like it really goes right to my eyeballs. Okay, so now I'm gonna do liner. Just for the sake of showing you everything, I'll show you under and on top. So I do like the Urban Decay pencil on the bottom and I just kind of stick it in my corner and I close my eye and smush it into my top lid and that helps me get it right on that lash line where I like to have it, see? Um, yeah, so the pressure is real with this like middle school and all things coming, not to mention there's so much less out there for us for middle. So there's like this added pressure of like trying to find the right thing and do the right thing and check the right box. And is it too advanced? Is it advanced enough? And we still have so many things that we will be doing together because my girls just like to work together and it works well for our family. So it is, I'm going to lean in a little more because I'm doing my, my liner here. I'll try to show you. Okay, so instead of going like this, I lay it down like that and just drag it slowly across the line while still kind of pulling down into the, into the eyelashes so that it doesn't get wild and crazy. Boom, just like that. Um, okay, so yes, I, I just, I wanna make sure we're finding the right things that help her where she's at, but also I feel like there's such a disconnect between sixth grade and up, but it, it it's also in, like a big disconnect in age, right? So yes, she can do more and know more and learn more, but she is still 
you know, she hasn't matured out of wanting to play and wanting things to be fun. And I think that's okay. And it's sad to me, my heart breaks for her that play places aren't catered to her anymore. Like she's almost grown out of these things, but she's still, it's not fair. It's not fair to the middle kids. Not every middle kid wants, you know, video games all the time. They still want to run and play and park and things like that. So I just wish there was more geared toward them. Okay, so what I usually do here is I pause because usually at this point I brush my teeth, but I've already done that. Um, so I would stop and do my hair, but I'm just going to keep kind of trucking along. Okay, so I've done all of the things that I need to do here. Next step, I'm going to tap in just a little bit of concealer where I need it. Right now, I'm using the Tarte Double Duty Shape Tape. This one's the ultra creamy though, because I can't, I feel, I don't like things that make me feel dry. I don't like to feel things on my face and it comes out with so stinking much product. So I just put one dot right there. So this will last exactly 5,000 years. Um, and then ring finger. And the first places that I put it are the places that I need it, like that red dot right there. And I put it along here just to kind of mask some of that, because if I go in at some of the other places that I needed initially, it's just too much product. So I like to tap just right, right there, just like one little right in that dark. And then as it kind of softens up with my like skin heat, I'll tap it through. Um, I don't like to use a lot. I really don't. And then I have a brush, um, this tiny little brush here that I like to kind of tap it out with, but not too much because I don't want to remove some of that coverage. Um, I've been breaking out along my chin here. Uh, anyway, so there's pressure and I just, it's hard to find what I think is the right fit. And then most of her friends are older, um, and then they're in a, some sort of traditional school setting, so it's different, it's just different. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of pressure and it's hard to know what to do and I don't know what to do, but I've been researching things and I'm starting to feel pretty good about some of my decisions and I'm starting to think more with kind of the global focus of the long-term planning. And so I will be coming here and sharing, I think my very next video, cause I'm gonna film it when I'm all done here, is gonna be um, about long-term planning because it's important it is important and i don't you guys are probably like me where i'm long-term planning everything anyway now i've talked a lot about how i don't like a feel of things and part of that comes from the amount of product that i use i don't tr try to blend it out more than and there are some places you know talk about breakouts and skin being uneven and things like that so there are some places where i do need a bit more of that full coverage and so i try to accommodate that time, but i don't like people are like, oh, set it with powder. Like that's really hard for me because I feel like it does just dry out and crease out like so easily. And I don't like that feel. I don't like the texture on my skin. So that's bothersome. I do get a lot of comments like, well, your skin looks so great. What do you use? I use a ring light. People like ring light. Lighting is a hundred percent like the best thing you can do is have good lighting because Everybody looks like freaking Crypt Keeper in the wrong lighting, like especially in this bathroom, which is why I did turn on the ring light for this. Um, everybody looks like the freaking Creep Keeper, right? Because it's just bleh, bleh. And then the more powder I put on, it's like greasy and gross. And I do try to keep my under eye really light because don't forget those eels and down the throat, you know, you want to be that person. Um, I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. I knew I couldn't do this. I try, oh, I try to keep my under eyes light because it does crease and get crazy and I don't love that. I like this bronzer right now. I like a shiny bronzer, um, big fluffy brush, swirl, swirl. And I go basically right there. Cause if you can tell from the side, I do have like cheekbones that hollow in, but I like to accentuate that. So you can see there's already that shadow there. But when I do this, I like to come in pretty vertical and you can see it makes a big difference as far as face shape. So I like to do that. And I just do that right there kind of vertical, but like right under here and then going to the side of the mouth there. So it's almost like a pretty vertical diagonal line. I don't even know. There's an angle in there somewhere. And then another swirl top and right under here because it does help it, you know, make you see look more defined here. Um, so that's it. And then I'll just, whatever's left, I'll give a little swoop if I feel like I need to be a little more tan. So that. Um, Blush, I always come back. This is like the oldest, grossest thing, but I always come back to this. I don't know why. It's got a little shimmer in it, which I feel like suits me. It's not too pigmented, which again, feel like suits me. I get all over my brush and then I come in and I go right here, right here. I don't like to do right there. I like to do right here. 
And again, I do have the cheekbones, so I think that just sits better on my face, to be honest with you. Um, anyways, so yes, pressure, 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 pressure. And I'll be sharing because like I said, there's just not a lot of it out there and there could be more and there needs to be more. Um, so yeah, I come here because I'm, I guess the resident person who shares and it is what it is. Okay. So now I'm going to come in and just add just a wee bit more eyebrow. Am I allowed to use the camera as a mirror? You guys probably don't mind, huh? See, just just to darken that up a little because it does disappear. I got uh, like no pigment in my in my hair, y'all. Um, it is what it is. I'm at peace with it now. Uh, and then just boogly it out a little because I don't look like crazy person. Um, yeah. So middle school. Let me know if you've traveled this road ahead of me. I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on it. I feel like with what I'm thinking through for like long term planning, I'm feeling pretty decent. But we will see. Okay, so at this point I come in and this is just like a general spray bottle, but I bought a giant bottle of, I think it's Mehron because I used that and Ben Nye. And I like the Ben Nye a lot. It's just really expensive and it's hard to buy in a big size. But these are the recommendations from people, the Disney princesses for their makeup that stays all day. And I do love it. It does have like really strong menthol though. So you have to like for a minute. So anyways, all over. And fan because it has menthol. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, something that I have found as I have gotten older, and I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's the quality of the products I'm using on my eye, like if they're more, uh, if they're more oil-based or what, but my under eye tends to transfer more now, which is crazy to me. I have this thingy, so I like to do just like that. And I do do kind of the false eyelashes for a while and I need to get back into it. I keep meaning to try it again. I just haven't felt like I had the time to make that happen. So I have it. Okay. So this primer, I like it very much and it does last forever. So I just do whoop, whoop on the top, whoop, whoop, right on the top. And then I take this one down underneath the Bye Bye Panda Eyes. And yes, everybody makes this face. I just don't know what to do. Middle school, it's so scary and so intimidating and so insane to think we've made it here. I feel like I should be celebrating because what the heck made it halfway, right? We proved all those naysayers wrong and we've managed to socialize them and they have friends and we've let them out the house and they don't live in the closet under the cupboard like Harry Potter and all is well, but it's also there's a lot coming and pressure and pressure and pressure. I hate waterproof mascara. I absolutely hate waterproof mascara. I hate that it doesn't come off. I hate the feel of it. I don't love it. Um, so I don't use it. But anyways, so I just, I know you guys will understand the feeling, the dread, the scary, because it is just like when you start, there's that terrifying, see the difference that makes guys? Do you see? Um, that terrifying, like fear of just jacking it up so freaking bad. And I feel like Honestly, like elementary is like training schools, right? There's not real consequences, especially here in Texas. I mean, there are, but now that I'm like kind of on the backside of that, it's like, oh my gosh, and there's new pressures and it never goes away. That's the whole point of this. Your fears, your scary, those things that keep you up at night, it just never goes away. Uh, but I do feel like we've done pretty well to this point. So that's nice, I guess we're making it. And I always, you see it, I've got a dot on the side and a dot on the side. Um, already on my person. So I have this little guy that once it is dry, I come in and just kind of push off. And then I take whichever eyeshadow brush that color was on and just touch it. So, ta-da, this is my face. I will go ahead and do a little lip just for you because you're special and I appreciate you. Okay, so I like to do a neutral lip liner because I do, I have really tiny lips, but I'm not an injections person. So I just do this. Do just a little over, like on that line kind of, and a neutral. I'm gonna have to replace this soon, I'm almost out, but I do a lot of it. It's like my favorite go-to. just like that my face is on now let's do the hair 
It is a hairspray heat protectant and then another hairspray. And you may be like, Shauna, why do you need both of those? Because the order in which I use them is very important to me. Uh, you guys know I have hair in a past life. I will probably go ahead and speed up this part just so you don't have to sit here with me all day. Okay, so before I just snap to the end of this, I wanna show you uh, like one, maybe a couple flat iron curls because I know that's like a big thing. Now you can go over is always easier because what you wanna do is wrap one time and push out. My flat iron is set on 360. I strongly recommend porcelain plates, ceramic coated plates, and temperature control. So boom, that's it. I just push it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't need to be kind of the best thing that's ever happened. It just needs some texture. And then the more you turn, the more curl you get. So just for example, here in the back, watch this, it's like ribbon. It's like ribbon on a, on a scissor, y'all. Okay, so you know what? I just thought of several things that people might ask. So um, I will do this routine maybe twice a week. Usually I don't fully style my hair because it is some sort of styled from before. So like this will last until the next time I shampoo it or I'll do like some sort of like up style to stretch it out. I usually do like wash it and then do an up style the first day to allow it to fully dry because I hate drying my hair. Or I will use like a blow dry brush, but I don't like blow dry it out because, well, that's terrible. And I do wash my hair and do all of that at night. I shower at night. So that came from, you know, being a hairstylist. You don't want to go to bed with people's hair on you. That's gross. Um, this spot is a little straight right here. Uh, so that is how I do that. And I do wash my hair like maybe twice a week. Maybe. I have a lot of hair. I don't like washing it that much. So I don't like having to restyle it, but I also want it to be styled. So that's how that goes. Um, so far in the video, we are right at 29 minutes. So that takes about a half an hour. And again, this is like my real life. This is film day. Like the most I'll ever do is this. I say that picture day is probably, we do pictures. I do a little bit more, trying to get everything a little more perfect. Um, but yeah, so about 30 minutes and then every other day, It'd be just makeup, so makeup's like 10 to 15. And I usually don't do as much makeup as I do on the day I'm filming, so. Um, like I said, I always try to do <laughs> brows and lashes because, well, I'm pale, y'all. I am pale. Uh, so that, but yeah, for the most part, that's what I do. That's how long it takes. It's not that hard. And just like everyone else, I'm terrified about home pulling and making the wrong decisions and making mistakes and not having my child prepared for the world, even though I've done this long enough to know that is absolutely not the case. Um, still, uh, in the words of Eddie's daughter from Christmas Vacation, I'm still cheap. So, yeah, that, okay, that's done. Now, for this, what I will normally do is just leave it. Um, so as you notice, I sprayed with some hold before I put in hold products at night. Um, I sprayed with some hold before and then more spray now. And then I just let it settle into itself before I film. And then I will throw on like jewelry, perfume. I don't know why I always put that on when I film, but I do because I don't know why I'm in crease version. And then I put everything away and that's it. So right at 30 minutes, I really hope I sped some of this up for you because I didn't actually have that much to say, but here we are. Other than I'm just having heart attack, but I know that a lot of you can understand that. So guys, I hope you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. And yeah, I think I showed you everything I use. So let me know if you have any questions, anything like that. Don't forget, I do have a license for this. Okay, literally certified, went to school, licensed, card curing, official hair makeup person. Okay, so don't get yourself down on that, but I hope that you found at least one, one tip a little helpful or thought about ways you could speed up your routine because let's not get, nobody wants to stay in here doing this all day. <laughs>